What's up, beautiful people? In this video series, I'm going to cover things I wish I learned in high school. In this episode, I asked the question, would you eat another human? Jamestown explained. There are lots of interesting things to know about Jamestown. It is the oldest permanent British colony in the Americas. John Smith established military discipline in the colony and underwent a radical makeover by Disney, as did Pocahontas. And ultimately, the cash crop tobacco would be the resource that would save the colony from failure. But the colonists of Jamestown face some very difficult conditions. Our story begins when 104 male colonists set sail on three ships in late December of 1606. You heard that right, the first set of colonists were all dudes. They reached the Chesapeake Bay in April of 1607 and on May 13th, 1607, they landed on a narrow peninsula, virtually an island, and established the colony of Jamestown along the James River. Well, the local American Indians called it the Powhatan River, but the colonists named the river in honor of King James, who granted a charter to the Virginia Company to form the settlement in North America. Fun fact, this is a portrait of James as a boy. There is so much to unpack here. In total, the journey took them four months to cross the Atlantic Ocean, but the hard part was just about to begin. Of the 104 original settlers, only 38 people survived the first nine months in Jamestown. Things that killed this first group were starvation. The settlers who arrived were not accustomed to doing hard agricultural work. They were hoping to find gold or silver like Spain did in their colonies. That ain't happening. The timing also sucked for these colonists. When they arrived, the area was experiencing one of the worst droughts in centuries and diseases such as dysentery, typhoid, and my favorite to say, scurvy. We're killing them off one by one. Now I admit being a farmer is hard. I tried growing food once COVID hit and all I got was two oddly shaped and sized cucumbers. And the folks in Jamestown found out how hard things were on a whole other level. The only thing that kept the remaining 38 people alive was trade with local Native American people. This trade happened for a short period of time thanks to Captain John Smith's ability to broker a truce by early 1608 with the local tribe. The tribe provided the colonists with yummy corn that kept them alive. By 1609 though, the situation went from bad to worse. The drought was still going on. The colonists caught beef with the local Powhatan Confederacy. Settlers pissed off the local tribe when they began to take food by force. In response, the Powhatans retaliated by attacking the colony. With enemies all around them, the colonists could not leave their fort. Therefore, they could not go get fresh water, hunt, or fish. Clearly, they had overstayed their welcome. And there is also a strong likelihood that the colonists were drinking water with extremely high salinity levels. This period is known as the starving time and the colonists faced some tough choices when it came to their survival. We know through excavations of the site and from primary sources that the colonists ate dogs, cats, and horses. We also know by reading a primary source from one of the leaders of Jamestown that they also ate mice, rats, and leather boots. Yummy. And we now know that the colonists also resorted to cannibalism. Teams of anthropologists have been researching the Jamestown site for years, and in 2012, they discovered the remains of a girl that, when examined, revealed numerous signs that this person had been eaten by other people. They took the bones to a lab and did all sorts of sciencey stuff. Yes, science! As a result, the team created a 3D facial reconstruction and based upon the data examined, it was determined that the skeletal remains were that of a female around 14 years old. This estimate of the age was based upon the size of her molars. Cut marks on the jaw, face, and forehead were determined to be signs of cannibalism. Experts concluded the purpose of these cuts were to remove the brain for human consumption. The brain would likely have been eaten first because it decomposes very rapidly after death. We don't know who took her to dinner, I mean ate her for dinner, but we do know cannibalism did take place in the founding of the first permanent American colony. Look, I love food. My nickname was Donut Boy in middle school. But I wonder, is cannibalism wrong under any circumstance? Out of curiosity, if you were stuck in a life or death situation, would you eat another human? And while there is no evidence that the cannibalism at Jamestown was connected to a murder, would you kill another person and eat them? Them in order to survive. And if yes, which part would you eat and how would you prepare it? That's going to do it. Go ahead and answer my questions in the comments and see what kind of weirdos are watching this video with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.